trained to value food. We don't value humanity. We don't value each other. We don't value our water, our, our air, our resources that surround us. And we definitely don't value soil. We call it dirt. But we got to realize that life comes out of that. Okay, so we are going to be repotting his golden pothos. We've got our bin that we're going to be using for compost, and we've got our compost starters. <laughs> yummy. And we've got Not some. Not yummy. <laughs> we have some compost starters here. So, what happens inside of our compost that's going to make good nutrients for our plants? The worms break the compost down. But what's the process called? Decomposition? Yes. <laughs> so I'm going to give you a few tips about composting, even though this is my first time. So one, you put your rotten plants on the soil. And then the worms will break the plants down, and then they'll decompose into the soil, and then they'll help the plants grow. I did learn that for your fruit, you want to remove the seeds because it is takes a longer time for the seeds to I think the seeds don't break all the way down or something like that so it is possible for these new sprouts to come out um, in places that you don't want them so I think we're going to remove these seeds pears <laughs> Ew, a super bad tomato okay and some eggshells yeah then we have this really big bag of Rotten oranges. Yes, molded. Very bad lemon. We have molded lemon. Banana. Right now it has way too much liquid. So I heard that for composting, it needs to have not be too wet and it needs to not be too dry. Not heard. Red. Oh yes, I read. I read that it needs to not be too wet and not be too dry. I also read that you need to mix it because it needs oxygen and it needs to be aerated. So we're gonna start with this. I don't know if we need to drill holes in it or what. I'm gonna figure that out. But we're gonna start with this Start with this pot of soil and we're gonna dump our goodies in there and these goodies in there and then add some on the top and then just mix it a little. Then after that we can make compost tea. Uh. It's like a liquid that you make from draining the compost that we can pour over our plants, so. So do we drink the compost tea? Candle. <laughs> <laughs> no candle. <laughs> right here. Candle. Ugh. Let me see your pear. What did you just do? Um, I took the seeds out. Why did you take the seeds out? Because so it doesn't grow. You mean I took the seeds out? You took no, the seeds out? No, I took the seeds out. Well, I took the other seeds. And why do, why do we take the seeds out? So it doesn't grow. To make sure no pear plants show up where we don't want them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Those bananas are the skillest thing. Let's put the seeds in there. <laughs> I need a mask on. I can still smell it. Don't don't put our eggshells in there. Ew. <laughs> ah. They said the more that you mix it, 
the faster it will decompose. Okay, now I'll take the pills. So. All right, Kendall is currently on his quest for worms inside the mulch. I'll call it Operation Bird. <laughs> I don't know that daddy's gonna be happy, but our compost will. I'm on the last step in my prog in my process. <laughs> and I've lost the kids. <laughs> After collecting worms, I think they were done. So they headed inside for a snack and I'm gonna finish things off here. So yeah, we just made compost cake. I'm gonna take this slimy carrot that needed to be thrown in the trash and put it on the top, just for cake's sake. So yep, there you go. That's our compost cake. Now I need to find something to mix it with and to poke holes in it. The goal is to turn it at least every other day and document how it goes. Any of you guys know how this goes and have any extra tips, make sure you leave it in the comments below because we would all love it if you shared.